So we moved forward to the 90s. I've made it through Flinders and started working. And even back in the 90s, there was a very strong expectation that residents and registrars would take separate and dedicated teaching sessions in the form of ward-based tutorials. So you'd often see, you know, in the afternoons, registrars taking a gaggle of students with them. I mean, it was just accepted. I mean, it was almost like written into your contract. And somewhere along the line, that's, that's kind of disappeared, which is very sad. At the University of Adelaide, um, a lot more effort was being put into curriculum design. And there was this wonderful unit called the Medical Learning and Teaching Unit, which really controlled everything. But we had a curriculum and it was, uh, uh, you know, interwoven with uh, the various years and that was certainly a good thing. But perhaps the most significant change towards the end of the decade was the introduction of these things called SCAPs, so Specialised Community Ambulatory Placements. And this is kind of where I guess I started to dip my toe in with uh, research because uh, Professor Madden, who's mentored many of us uh, in this room, uh, said, well, we want to start putting students from the University of Adelaide out into the country, um, which now, of course, we laugh at and think, of, well, hasn't that always happened? But no, I mean, up to that point in time in 1996, there was virtually no expectation that uh, uh, students had to go to the country. And in fact, I think we only had uh, uh, the only sort of community medicine uh, uh, need was two weeks out of the entire six years. So it was quite revolutionary. And so he said, right, Bruning, you organise it. So I, I organised with uh, Mount Gambia and initially Piri, Port Augusta, Wyala and Port Lincoln. Uh, we're going to have six years out there uh, for six weeks at a time. So this was very revolutionary. And I must say there was, there was some resistance with the, uh, with the older guard uh, within the uh, university, thinking that, well, what could they possibly learn um, out in the country? And just to put it in a little bit of a context, uh, Professor Madden had uh, um, supplied surgical services to Port Augusta uh, for several years leading up to about 1997. So he was well aware of the wonderful teaching content that, uh, that occurs out in the country. And he sort of said, well, it's a pity that that all goes to waste. And... Uh, um, you know, maybe we should start doing it. So in 1997, uh, you know, we all held our breath and the first lot of students went out and everybody got there safely and on time and not surprisingly, everybody had a, had a really good, really good time. So 1990s, what were we listening to? Anyone? Anyone? Right said Fred, I'm too sexy. All right, 1993, big hit. Uh, 90s, dominated by North Melbourne, somewhat of an ironic photo given that... Uh, Wayne Carey there has uh, got his arms wrapped around uh, Anthony Stevens, and uh, we know how that all ended a bit later on in the early 2000s. And Billy Madison, still doing big business on uh, uh, Seven Mate. Uh, most Saturday nights, in fact, it's on there, so uh, do yourself a favour. Um, so, for the 1990s, I started thinking more about research because I'd established, you know, all these... Uh, um, uh, placements. All of a sudden we've got 40 uh, University of Adelaide students going out to these areas and you know you'd be surprised but with the whole rural situation and we all thought there was great teaching out there that's true but nobody had ever written about it so especially with surgery so you know everybody said oh what are you writing about that for you know we you know we know that there's great teaching out there we know that you know well where where is it documented so basically i set about um uh, you know polling the students and surveying the students and the surgeons and making log books and seeing what they actually did in relation to what the equivalent was in town and you know they were seeing like five times more things than people were seeing in the metropolitan area so all of a sudden there was this all this information that nobody had really written about uh, because everyone assumed, oh, well, that's obvious. But this is the point of research, is that often people make these assumptions, especially with the so-called, you know, slightly, no, I'll call them softer sort of topics. Um, you know, it's not a lab, it's not looking at, down a microscope, it's not, um, you know, quantifying things, but it's really important. And if you can actually write about that, 
then that puts you ahead with a lot of things. So at the end of the decade, um, going into the 2000s, I completed a master's in surgical undergraduate education. And, you know, articles started appearing. So we actually proved, because this was also important to change the attitude at the University of Adelaide that rural was a good thing, we had to prove that the teaching was as effective as the metropolitan area, and we did that. And slowly, slowly, the tide turned in terms of rural teaching, which was a, which was a good thing.